Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our new edition weekly news for this week. Today is presented by Aisha and uh, Islam, always on Natural TV, Ankara, Turkey. We're going to start by the first news actually and we make a zoom about if uh, actually it's like a question I'm going to ask you. Do you think that Turkey will not uh, bow to economic tourism? Uh, that's what if you see like a uh, Turkish president or Recep Tayyip Erdogan, he said uh, in a meeting like uh, Turkey will not go to uh, economic tourism because uh, you, you know that's, that's what he said it's uh, one kind of structural tourism. If we see the structural tourism means like uh, uh, the peoples cannot explain or cannot say it, it's a tourism but it's happening. I mean, uh, last couple of years, Turkish economy is always ups and down, and because it's uh, the issue, the Korean Turkish relation is going to down, and it's not that much good level with USA. And from that time, it's happening and it's, it's starting. And that's why the Turkish, uh, I mean, president said, like it's a one kind of economic tourism that the uh, other countries, especially I mean, Western uh, country like uh, America, they are try to impose any sanction on Turkey, not through direct war, but through economic war. I mean, like uh, economic way and that's yeah. why he said like it's a one kind of economic yes. terrorism because Turkey lost their I mean like, value of their lira mm -hmm. Turkish economy is going to down because the dollars dollars increasing and that's the way Turkey is now in under inflation of their lira and that's the white president said about this issue actually yeah. it's like uh, it's like a good expression about economic terrorism especially when uh, we talk that the economy that affects all the other sides to the politic, the social, the psychology, so exactly. all this one, it, they are related to each other. Even if you see the, the news, like how, what he, uh, the president said, the main thing is uh, what we want, what we are doing and what we want to reach as a country and nation, we have to be careful about those kind of stuff, what the other countries mm -hmm. try to pressuring on our economy. You like so that like it's affect uh, the other relationship. Exactly. Yes. You know, this, uh, Turkey are very clear for their economic stuff. Even also they have a goal, as we know, mm -hmm. that they have a uh, uh, manifesto like to reach uh, Turkey in a very, I mean, a developed economic country mm -hmm. within 2000, uh, I mean, 2023. So, uh, like, uh, uh, two, I mean, uh, pressurize on that issue the other countries the foreign countries especially like USA or those countries try to pressure on Turkey mm -hmm. by economic way that's why Turkey said okay we have to cover this we have to go and cover up those kind of situation to develop our nation in that level within 2023 to political actuality to childhood I think that uh, the childhood or the children they are able to transmit a good message and actually like uh, as we see in the picture with the uh, with this ch child she's a Syrian I think makes appeal for world peace as, uh, as a message as a good message from childhood actually yeah exactly uh, uh, if you see like the her name is Bana al Avid and she's a really famous girl I mean she's or she was tweeting uh, in her Twitter account mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the time of war in Aleppo she was there with her mom and dad and she said like what is going on there if you see like uh, uh, she she said like when the war started everything changed and i was afraid that i or another member of my family would die i mean like from that time she was trying to i mean uh, like send her message in twitter uh, like you know this there was a girl in the time of holocaust i mean uh, in second world war try to send a message i mean that's what we say like uh, the diary like she's tried to sp i mean it's sent her message through the Twitter it's a one kind of diary and she again requested uh, to the world people like okay for a peace I mean world peace uh, let's make a peace in Syria that's what we try to argue and discuss again and again the Syrian regime they're killing civilians they're killing nine civilians five civilians every day there are civilians injured killed so the this uh, children she also feel for to the world like okay let's make a peace for us let's make a peace for a Syria people let's make a peace for the world peace not only for Syria but not only for regional issue uh, she came actually to Turkey last year with her mom and dad mm -hmm. and she got you know Turkish citizenship and um, uh, even if you see she's just only nine years old uh, uh, if you see like um, uh, 
uh, but she said to another agency in um, like uh, when I was in Syria I even I want to back to Syria um, it was really fun time for me because I was very happy with my friends my family now my real my nearest friend she died in mm -hmm. Syrian war so like that's why he said like uh, she said like okay there there should to be yeah. peace there should to be peace like and we want a peace in Syria good yeah. right By this news explaining uh, the social phenomena when we talk about suicide, especially in prison. So we have a spying suspect commits suicide in prison cell. So do you have some details about the social? Thank you, Aisha. Uh, if you see these uh, two guys, I mean, they came from uh, United Arab Emirates uh, to Turkey, especially in Istanbul, and the uh, Turkish uh, intelligence service and even Turkish security service, they said these two people, they have linked with the um, I mean, intelligence service of United Arab Emirates, and especially even they may have a link with the uh, killing of uh, Jamal Khashoggi, I mean, who was killed uh, in Saudi Arabian embassy, and that they are uh, I mean they're supposed to think these two people also help the Saudi security service I mean security persons who came from Saudi Arabia to kill Kam Jamal Khashoggi, Khashoggi. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why Turkey captured them and sent them to the prison and said them they are uh, they're suspecting you spy from the United Arab Emirates but what we see these two suspect they killed by themselves I mean if you see like uh, the one Hassan I mean he and also like his uh, friend uh, Jaid um, uh, I mean, he, YM Hassan uh, was found hanging from the bathroom a door in his cell so they're actually they kill themselves in a cell and it shows actually more reality like they have uh, some link maybe we uh, to kill or to give information to the United Arab Emirates from uh, Istanbul or Turkey even also some stuff uh, some literature or academics academicians say these two peoples even also like the who are spying, spying in Istanbul they try to get information of Arab people who are living in Istanbul actually who are trying who are uh, moving or organizing some things against uh, Arab, uh, I mean, uh, monarchy system or Arab leaders. I mean, uh, like it can be Egypt, it can be United Arab Emirates, it can be uh, Saudi Arabia and also other Gulf countries. Like, so they are taking information and they are passing this information. Okay, these Arab people, they are living in Istanbul. These people came from Egypt and living in Istanbul. These people come from Saudi Arabia and living in Istanbul and they are trying to do something against their government, against mm -hmm. their regime. So those people, they are spying on their, I mean, for that kind of person information. So uh, mm -hmm. that's why Turkey said uh, they're suspecting them as a spy and they arrest them. But what we see, they commit suicide in prison cells. Mm, thank you so much. Mecca, Saudi Arabia, June 1st. Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and the Crown Prince of the Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, attend the, uh, the 14th Islamic Summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OEC in Mecca, Saudi Arabia on June 1st, 2019. Gaza City, May 31st, Palestinian converged along the Gaza-Israel buffer zone on Friday to take part of ongoing demonstrations against Israel decades long occupation. Friday, Israeli consulted with the international cuts. Jerusalem Day and Annual Event Market each year on the last Friday of Ramadan. Since March of last year, Gazans have held weekly rallies along the buffer zone to demand the right of Palestinian refugees to return to their homes in historical Palestine from which they were driven in 1948 to make way for the new state of Israel. Turkey's president on Friday argued the Istanbul Tees to flock to the polls after the do-over mayoral election next month, warning against plots targeting the nations. Speaking at a fest pregame iftar dinner in uh, Istanbul, Askadar district, Recep Tayyip Erdogan underlined the, the importance of casting votes for the do-over polls for Istanbul mayor set for June 23rd. 
Did you see how we West and various countries of Europe rejoice this over the person who they thought who the March 31 elections? Erdogan asked if someone outside Turkey follows the outcome of this election close, then the people of Istanbul take side, regime or express their sadness it means. There is another game go on, he added. Saudi Arabia, the cause of Palestine and Al-Qaeda or Jerusalem will always remain the core issues for all of us. Turkey's top diplomatic Mevlu Gavasolu said Saturday the remarks came, came during an address at the 14th Islamic Summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OEC where Gavasolo said 50 years after the foundations of OEC we are still faced with the complex challenges for the future of the cause of Palestine and Al-Qaeda which was the immediate reason why established this organization in 1969. Madrid is in the process of deciding the extension of Patriot air defense missiles in Turkey's southern Adana province for the next six months. Spanish ambassador in Ankara said battery of Patriot missiles were deployed in Enkrelik Airbus in Adana province at the request of the Turkey through NATO. We are in the process of deciding extension for the next six months. June Gazales Barba told Anadolu Agency Spence Patriot air defense missiles were deployed in Adana 2015. The missiles were deployed as a part of Turkey's request for NATO assistance. Celebrations hold to mark the birthdays of two chimpanzees, Golgi and Jen and Farouk Yalsin Zhu, in Turkey's northwestern province of in May 31, 2019. May various shots during the opening ceremony of NIMF of To Be Secure International Forum in Budva, Montegero, 2 PS on May 31st. 2019, Montenegro President Milo Djugavionde uh, make his op uh, opening speech on the forum. Antalya, Turkey, various shots during Turkish national football teams a training session ahead a matches against France and inclined in Euro 2020. Qualifying round in Group H in Antalya, Turkey on May 31st, 2019. Berlin, Germany, various shots as the USA Secretary of State Mike Pompeo meets Germany Foreign Minister Heiko Maas in Berlin, Germany on 31st, 2019. Turkey's top priority is to enhance confidence in the judiciary by resolving problems caused by Fethullah terrorist organization FITU, the group behind the 2016 defeated the coup to the justice minister said on Friday, Turkey will build a system where no one imprisoned or convinced for their expression, thoughts, criticism, Abdul Masite Gul said an Anadolu agency had reported in Ankara. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and thank you to be with us. Quick weekly news today is finished. I hope that you always be keep on touch with us, always on Natural TV Ankara Turkey.